I've been putting on quite a bit of weight lately. Two reasons. I've pulled back from working out. It's been a while I did a little working out. And secondly, since I've been home a little more often, I've been eating a little bit more often. I see, let me see how I can get back on stream. Right now, I'm just relaxing, eating a mango while watching a YouTube video. You know, we have quite a bit of Dominicans on YouTube who make YouTube videos, both living in Dominica and overseas. I would like to take this opportunity to give a shout out to Raw Tech Reviews. That's a Dominican YouTuber who lives in England. He reviews the latest phones on the market. He knows pretty much everything there is to know about phones. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below in case any one of you would be interested in checking out Rotec Reviews. If you're interested in phones, then you should check it out. Rotec Reviews. Let me just tell you a little about the books you see on my side here. Well, the books you see here, well, first of all, I'm doing a study, a little study on biblical doctrines, and I have this book entitled Bible Doctrines. It's almost like a textbook. As you study each chapter, there are review questions for your learning. Along with that, of course, I have my Bible because it, it wouldn't make sense to study Bible doctrines not using the Bible. What, what I have here is a NKJV Nelson Study Bible. The final book I have here is a book entitled Live Your Dream and Realize Your Full Potential, written by a local writer by the name of Matilda Popo. I'm sure that a lot of you maybe know Miss, Mrs. Popo. I think she used to be with the youth division. I'm not really sure what role she played or her position. Mrs. Matilda A. Popo, accurately dubbed the motivator, is a natural motivational speaker who articulates her perspective on life very proficiently. When I just purchased this book, I read about three quarters of it. But now I'm planning to start all over again and hopefully finish reading it this time. It's an interesting book. I bought it from the writer herself. I think I paid about $30 for it. There's a possibility that this book might be on Amazon. Most people put their books on Amazon these days. I wouldn't be surprised if it's on the shelf at Jay's bookstore in town as well. It might just be. Okay, I just came from taking a shower. Yeah, because there's a few things that I have to do today. I'm just about to head out. First of all, I have to head down to the office, check up on a few things. That might take me about two hours. Yeah. From there, I'll be heading on two different construction sites because I have a few work doing on two different sites. And the first site, I might end up spending about, for the most part, one hour. And on the other one, I might spend about three hours. And that would basically end my day. Mm -hmm. You know what the worst part is about all of this is that I don't have a vehicle. I don't have a vehicle to get around with. My vehicle is in need of some repairs. So it's done for the time. So it's bus and walk for me today. Well, it's been like this for almost three weeks now. You know, a vehicle is very convenient, especially when you're doing business, because right now I feel like I'm missing on opportunities and in turn losing money.
project there now. Oh, it's morning, man. But that one knows. The only thing I see that can help you is here. You see the only thing? There on that beam and there on that beam. You can help it back there. Okay, so I just got to the office. I stopped on the construction site first because I think I might end up staying longer in the office. So it'll be faster to just run on the construction site, come in the office. And I'm going to spend about an hour in the office, trying not to spend more than an hour. And then, so right now it's about 10 past 12 now. Spend about an hour in the office and hopefully by, hopefully to reach down reach down on the next construction site about two o'clock and spend about three hours leave there about five yeah that's basically the day hey it's minutes to four now and i just got to site i end up spending over three hours in the office hmm. something else this is the most bigger construction site and I have just about an hour to go through it. Once I make it to the roof, that means my day is done. It took me about 45 minutes going through this entire site, ensuring that all work is being done appropriately. Just a little supervision I'm here doing on this project. yep guys i am back home this is basically the end of the day it's around what's the time now um what is the time it's about 5 30 right now yeah so that's about it and thank you guys for watching let me know your thoughts in the comment section so that's basically what i do for my day yeah so like comment subscribe you know just to help support this channel to help this channel grow you know yeah and share the videos and check out one of my videos that's going to pop up on this on the screen shortly peace out that's my sexy wife look how switch looks like click that thumbs up button we're on lockdown and there's nothing to do